let's get to digging so we can plant these tomatoes. What you grilling? You think you got enough butter on that? Gee yeah. whiz. I'm grilling wild boar. You are just a happy camper, aren't you? Oh yeah. <laughs> Anytime I'm grilling, I'm a happy camper. Yeah. If I'm a grilling, I'm enjoying life. So you're just gonna cover it? Cover it, yes. All that delicious butter. Mm. We're going to show everybody what we've been up to today. Yeah. I'm actually tired now. My body's starting to hurt all that. Yeah, mine too. <laughs> all right. So you're going to have to... Just let you know, we're not sponsored by any of this. <laughs> <laughs> you Well, honey, you should probably... When you get done, you're going to clean that up then? No, I'm just figuring I'll leave it there for today. Uh, yeah, no. We'll end up losing all that butter. I love it better. It's butter. not butter. It's, I can't believe it's not butter. It's butter. And yes, I eat butter. Mm -hmm. you put more applewood in there? No, because it's covered now. Oh, okay. The smoke flavor's there. Alrighty. Alright, go clean up. Okay. One of the big things we got done today was the first of our tomato trellis area. Um, we're going to be reusing the tires again. Um, some of them have uh, short walls, so we're not worried about cutting the walls around them because the wheel well walls are short. But we went ahead and laid down some weed fabric or landscape fabric so that way we wouldn't have the weeds in there. Donald's going to be filling this up with the duck dirt. And then we're going to be planting all of our tomatoes here. As you can tell, during the afternoon, especially come this summer when it really heats up here in Florida, this is shaded by the house. So this is going to be a perfect area where a lot of the tomato issues we have is because the, um, the, the heat and humidity really get to them and they burn up. And then this is where the doghouse was, freed up some room for us there. And then in order to keep Cooper out of the garden area, because um, even though we didn't mind him being in there, we had a, he was running over the beds and I cannot plant anything if he's gonna be running over the sap little you know, seedlings. So we put up a, uh, the gate here, this part moves. So if we want to get in and out, but we also have the big gate there, which that's the one we'll probably use the most. Um, the only thing left we got to do is get the quail house out and move the old compost bin. Um, but that can be done at a later date uh, because we're going to start planting our banana pups in here. And right now, Donald is over here. Oh, and there's the other cattle pen. We got, we're going to put that together and put it right in here, um, this next one. And, oh, yes, I want to show you guys. It's been a few days, but our green beans, Asian yard lung green beans are all sprouting now. 
We are excited. Uh, the chocolate bell peppers, baby bells have not came up, have not come up yet. My butterfly pea, um, I'm only seeing one right there, but I don't even know. I think that might be a weed. I don't know yet. I have to wait for the leaves to come out a little bit more. And then our herbs are also starting to pop up. Uh, let me see here. And right here. I don't see any there. Got a lot of them in there. And trying to see. Oh, there's some over on this other side here. Kind of clustered together, but we can separate them in a little bit but they're in rows. And then I believe we got some starting over here. Yeah, got some popping up right in the, right over here. Nothing on this side yet. So I'm excited because now we got seeds. Seeds are sprouting. And then um, Donald is over here digging a patch all right honey so what are you doing I am digging my rice paddy wait a minute rice paddy yeah okay why a rice paddy because we have flooded ground that is pretty much useless to us <laughs> You can't put livestock on it. You can't grow much on it. Well, we can put more livestock. I can get more ducks and Well, geese. we can put ducks in it. <laughs> ducks will fertilize it. Hi, oh, Thomas. But we might as well make use of it. Mm-hmm. And uh, so I'm going to try to grow rice. So I'm going to build a rice paddy here. That's why we made this little notch out in the fence area here. Yeah. To uh, see if the rice paddy... And if it grows some rice, I'll make it a little bigger. Wow. So you're digging a trench? Well, I'll be digging a great big, huge thing here. <laughs> We're gonna use the dirt from this ground to fill in for the tomatoes. Okay. I guess then right now I should um, see about trimming up the banana leaves. The banana leaves. Because uh, a lot of them are dead. They need to be cut. Ooh, the sun's in the way. And um, let's yeah, fish over there. Well, it's supposed to get down to 43 tonight, so. And we need and to then, the sour sauce. Yeah, so that's the other thing we need to worry about. Alrighty, well, I guess I'll go get to clipping. I get bum rushed. I have to be careful not to step on them. Because they think they're out of food and they're really not. Alright guys, watch out. Stop pecking my boots. Watch out. Wait. You all are like fuzzy little piranhas. Ow, oh, don't bite my finger. I'm trying to feed you. Little snots. Hey, give me, give me the thing. Give me the thing. Give me, give, give it to me. Stop biting me. Oh my Lord. Ugh. All right, I'm gonna get this done. <laughs> Hungry little things. So I throw the excess food on the ground. They just can't quite reach it with the holes. So I think today I'm just gonna use the tray. I picked this up in haste at Tractor Supply um, only because they were going through them so fast. I mean, it, they are just nonstop eaters and they're at that ugly, they're getting at that ugly stage. They go from cute little chicks to the ugly little chicks. Or chickens <laughs> they're all like just fighting over the food so 
I'm going to get them fed before they attack me again. Fuzzy little piranhas. You guys come a-running. Uh, it's not time to go to bed yet. Don't follow me. I feel... I feel weird. You guys follow me. You're like creepy little stalkers. <laughs> uh-huh. Go that way. That's it. That's it, stupid. Get him over there. Okay. So, it's really windy today. We had a cold, little bitty cold front come through. But, hi guys. So, if you all remember the dog house that was in the old pen, we got it moved. And let me tell you what, that was a pain in the butt. Thank goodness my daughter and her boyfriend and his brothers came over and they helped us. But we're going to turn this into Bonnie's little barn. Um, only because we're wanting to breed Bonnie. And right now she has an igloo house. Well, I'm thinking myself, if she has some type of emergency, my happy butt is not crawling into no igloo house. Now, granted, we still got to take out the screws. We're going to take out the carpet. At least this way... Um, if, if and when Bonnie does give birth, I will have room in here to sit with her and she'll have room with, for her and the babies and it'll be protected. Um, it was handmade. We bought this, we got it off, I think Donald found it on Craigslist. The lady was like free. You just have to load it up yourself. So we got it online. Like I said, pretty good, decent size. Oh, and as you can tell, I'm five foot two, so... It's a little bit taller than me. <laughs> Alrighty. Sorry about the wind. It's a little windy today. But it's warmer. <laughs> Donald has started his rice patty. I'm a little, little iffy if this is going to work. But I'm going to allow him to do it. Because either way... Uh, if it turns out we can put the ducks in here, that's fine. Um, but he tore apart our fire pit area. So now I have to figure out um, what to do with the bricks or where to put them for right now. But I'm going to be taking the dirt from the fire pit, which is going to be full of uh, nice carbon nutrition, and mix it in with our soil for the tomatoes. Um, like I said, Donald started this. He's at work today, so I'm trying to do things uh, during the day when he's at work. But the first thing I'm going to do is, in my pathway here, is a bunch of these guys. Um, I've been told they're called stinging nettle. I mean, they if you brush up against them, your skin like itches and burns and I got them I thought I got rid of all of them but some have popped back up I know I got rid of the ones up in here but I'm gonna be walking around in here with the wheelbarrow so I really don't want to be uh, uh, brushing up against them because today I'm in tennis shoes yay all right so I'm gonna go ahead and get this set up and I'm gonna take care of the uh, the stinging nettle and uh, get to work. Alright, here is my tomato area. Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten. So I got 13 tires and the cattle panel. I do have string. I'll use string if I have to hold them up. Weave them inside the cattle panel. <coughs> and whew, 
that's actually wet dirt. That was heavy. That's why I'm breathing so bad. Try to get it up the hill from where I was digging it. So now what we're gonna do is, we got the weed barrier down. I'm gonna fill in each of these tires. Now, because we do let the dogs in and out in this area, the last two tires, I'm gonna plant the wallflowers. The two that I got, the Borage Save the Bees and the regular Save the Bees. So these two tires will have flowers to help the bees. Everything else is going to be the tomatoes. And during the hottest part of the day with summer coming, since it's around the corner here for us, the house will shade this area during the high heat. That's why um, we placed it here. Now, over in this area, we're gonna do another one uh, because I do have some special tomatoes that are for the Florida. Um, it'll withstand the heat and the drought. And um, we're gonna do the same thing only in this area once we get these tires filled so that way we're not going around. And we also gotta get this guy set up too, the mailbox. Um, but yeah, we just uh, using the tires to just uh, help us get everything going. So let's get to work. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest with all of these. I might not make it all today, but I'm gonna try and at least do six or seven of them because I can only fill this wheelbarrow half of what it was, which means I'm probably only gonna be able to do one tire at a time. So we'll see how it goes. I'll show you when I get worn out. <laughs> it's feeding time again. <laughs> this time I took the lids off just to see if to help them, but I'm going to get bum rushed. So now I have to walk very carefully. I'm going to... Alright, now wait. Wait for it. No, 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 no! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they haven't stopped at that one pile. No. 